Hi, I'm Josh Ozersky. Today I'm going to make bacon and eggs, it being the morning. And bacon happens first, always, because you want it to be ready. It takes one second to make the eggs. This is just the regular Oscar Mayer bacon we all grew up with. For practical purposes, a thick cut Oscar Mayer is always going to be okay with me. Now, bacon, you'll notice, is long and narrow. Pans are round and circular. So, when you cook bacon in a pan, the middle gets hot and crunchy, the sides are floppy and soft, you gotta squeeze it and turn it, and it basically is a big mess. It's using something, it's using a tool that wasn't designed for the thing you're trying to do. A pan like this is perfect. You stick it in the oven at 375 degrees. The bacon cooks perfectly every time. Every square inch of bacon cooks exactly the same way. And even more importantly, the bacon cooks on both sides. The pan is sizzling it on the bottom, but there's also plenty of heat to sizzle it or brown it from the top. You don't even really have to turn it at all. All right, so here's the bacon in the pan. The only thing that matters is that the pieces are all laid flat. They all have total contact. There's minimal uh, overlap. I made, uh, you see, about 113 slices because that's how many I'm going to need to eat for breakfast. So this bacon is cooked perfectly, and here's how you can tell, all right? This is what a perfectly cooked piece of bacon looks like. When I hold it in the middle, it makes like a little frown. It's crispy, but it's not brown black, and it's also not grossly white and soft. Mm. All right, so I'm going to put this on low and get it sort of hot, but not crazy hot. Then I'm going to take a glass, because that's what I always use at home to make my eggs in. I know they say, oh, put it in a bowl or whatever. I'm going to beat that up. You can put in like a little evaporated milk or cream if you want. They say you could put in salt or pepper. Turn up my heat a little bit. I'm going to put some butter in. What I do is I cook them like the hash browns very quickly and they go off heat very quickly and finish off heat. This butter is beginning to brown here, you see? That's good. You don't want it to get too brown, but if it gets a little brown, that only makes the flavor better. All right, so there's my eggs. All right, I'm already turning the heat off. And I'm just gonna work it and work it and work it. Okay, now that once it begins to look like scrambled eggs like this, it comes off. And I'll actually just do it holding it up. Now I've gotten the last of the wet out of it. This will go down like this. All right, now it's safe. It's out of the pan. It's not cooking anymore. And just to give it a little bit more luxury, put a little bit of nice butter on it. I'll move it around. I'm gonna drain this. There we go. Effortless morning after bacon and eggs by Josh Ozersky. Thanks for watching and check me out again on ehow.com.